You gotta drink the whiskey straight. Yeah, if you don't drink, you gotta drink whiskey straight. That's great, straight. <laughs> like I, I was I drinking it straight, but tequila is supposed to be better for you because it's like no carbs. No carbs, yeah. That's why you know the rock made turn mine. You know, he was like shit. But y'all know I've been getting faded too, but I'm getting faded in gluten free way. Uh, exactly. Yeah. What? I'm so yeah, confused. that's that's yeah, a healthy. That, that, that's, that's if, that's there, a healthy there, if there is if there is a healthy liquor, it's, it's, it's yep, tequila. It's tequila. <laughs> <laughs> well, it used to be a running back they, that said that shit the first time. Ooh, I didn't mean to say that shit. Well, it's too late. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> just keep it going. Uh, he used to play for USC back when Reggie Bush was playing, too. Like, he was like he was like the, the backup running back to Reggie Bush. I was going to say, did he ever he see went, the field he, since he went he there went with Reggie Tennessee. Bush? Man? He went to Tennessee, he got, yeah. He went to he got drafted, drafted by the Titans. Right. He was like, yeah, I like to drink. I drink tequila because it's, it's cleaner. I was like, what? What? You can you can say that like <laughs> not it. that that's when that's when I learned the, the fun fact of tequila because of him. There's there's clean alcohol that just I'm um, I'm baffled by it. He gives, I'm, trying, I'm trying to wrap it out around my head so it makes sense for me. There's clean yeah. alcohol. I mean technically, technically you know, tequila and vodka is yeah. like the the best things you can drink. Like if you go and drink, like really no that's, alcohol is good for your body. But there you go. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why they be doing. That's, that's why they be doing like vodka water. Like you can't mix it with certain stuff though. You gotta like drink it straight mm-hmm. if you do it. So that's why you see hear people do that vodka water or tequila shit. I don't see people do tequila and water. I'm like, just give me that. Just give it to me on the rocks or on, on the air. Yeah, like, I, had a, I had a <laughs> I had a conversation with a couple of teachers because you know te- teachers drink. I don't know if y'all know that you know because of these children. Yeah. But they, do like, st- they, do like other, <laughs> they do other stuff. They do other stuff too. Yeah, well, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. let you say that, Black Ranger. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Cap was just like, dude was just like, man, I, I always got to mix it with something. I was like, man, if you don't start drinking that stuff straight, you you, you in your thirties, you know, you a man. Yeah, Get I, it that yeah. straight. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I mean, cats, after man. after what, probably about twenty six, you should probably be drinking stuff straight at that point. You, you should know. You should know what you can and can't drink by the end. You shouldn't be out here still trying new stuff. Talking right. about, I'm trying to figure out what vodka do to me. No, I know what vodka does to me. It, this is, it's, it's, it's not it's nothing I need. I don't. Uh-huh. If vodka the last thing to drink on earth, I'll, I'll be done drinking. I'll be the soberest person y'all ever know. Exactly. Uh, well, exactly. Still got us. Huh? I, I was just about to say, just, just like my relationship with my wife, I'm trying to get straight to the point. <laughs> and so that's what I think about with alcohol. I'm just ending <laughs> like that. Straight to the point, okay? Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to Kick City, episode number 59. I mean, we've been here for a while, y'all. You know, so this ain't nothing new to us, yo. This is what, you know, just want y'all to know. We, we've been here. So, you know, I'll be your host with the most, HJJ. Almighty, is that what they call me? Black Rangers to some. Um, you know, let's let's kick it off how we always do. Uh, Marco, how your week been going? Uh, week has been going well. Uh, baby girl is starting to, you know, babble a few more words here and there, uh, starting to, you know, comprehend more things. So it's nice to see her little growth and development. That makes me a proud father. Uh, hey, you know, right. Decided to diversify uh, my buying process this week. I decided not to buy a pair of Jordans that I said was public enemy number one on my month this month. And I decided to go <laughs> elsewhere. Y'all hear about that later on, though. Blaze, how's your week going? <laughs> It's been going good. Um, my son, my youngest son, he's sitting up, so he's six months old. So I'm definitely happy about that. You got me thinking like a father. It's sad before I dive in and do some ratchet stuff with my friends. So <laughs> let me go and get this father shout out. So uh, kids are good. Spring break is here uh, for teachers and so in Kansas. So definitely excited about that. So it's been good overall. I had a snow day, so I had to battle through that and make sure it's yeah. good. But it's good, though. Yeah, these, what's up with the snow day, Jay? I mean, these guys, hey, you, you young folks, yeah, yeah, you hear me well on this. Y'all some punks. I'm gonna tell you that now. Y'all are some punks. Because that's what, what, snow, what snow? Like, what? That okay. wasn't no snow the other day. A little hey, dust. What, that, a little dust. I said, man, this don't make no sense. Yeah, they do get more snow days than we ever got. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, because I can't, it's like every, every it's going to be two inches. Oh, we we shutting down everything. Mm-hmm. I still don't make no sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it ain't I, I could be two inches. 
I'll be, be like, generous. it's too, it's too cold. It's, it's too, too cold. cold. We shutting it it's down. Negative, <laughs> it's negative two. We shutting it down. I'm like, what? I went outside and but uh, not the best off with a with a broom. I'm like, this ain't no real, this ain't no real snow out here. I said, clean my driver with a broom because of the other day. I, I, yeah, you know, you know what? My bad. Let me get back into the topics and things that we got going <laughs> on. So you know, well, uh, you know, no juice, fresh, fresh kick Friday. So let's talk about what we're gonna be rocking this Friday. Uh Mark, I'll start with you. Um, so I'm gonna pull out something new, uh, something that I just picked up. Now uh, this will also be my pickup for the week. Uh, yeah. Picked up the Air Max 90 Special Edition Runners Club. Uh, these guys mm-hmm. are, um, I don't even know what colorway these are called. Uh, but they they, sure. they give you Southwest vibes. They got some mm-hmm. orange, some yellow, some green. So they're, they're real vibrant. Uh, crazy materials on these. Uh, super rugged uh, suede up here. And then you got a smoother suede up here. So they're, they're fire in my opinion. They got the exposed off-white tongue. So, you know, something different. Oh, dope. Blaze, dope. talk to him. Um, I'm going to, I, f- I feel like, I feel like I've been riding Marco's back so much on this. I've also picked up a, um, the Air Max nineties and special edition. I just got it the other day and, uh, it's got like a Nike smile on it. And so, uh, Air Max nineties oh, well for me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a roll. I sent that in a group chat, um, the other day. And so um, as soon as I got the, as soon as I got the vote from everybody, I was like, Oh, hurry up. Mm-hmm. But some bad yeah. happened. So Get them this week, and I'll definitely be rocking on Friday. So Air Max, Air Max month or Air Max day is upon us, and so uh, yeah, trying to get it going with that. So that's what I'll be doing. Feel like I missed the memo on order Air Max this week, then, because uh, I'm gonna be <laughs> in some, I'm gonna be in some sixes, some of my Bordeaux sixes. I feel like they need to, you no, know, I need to pull those out. I, I think I won once, once sometime last year, but I really, I, I'm, I'm into this six. This six craze, and I give you, uh, y'all find out why here a little later. So I'm gonna be moving in the Bordeaux. Uh, you know, so now we're gonna jump into straight into what do we pick up for the week? Cause you know, I see a couple of y'all picked up some heat. I'm see if y'all picked up anything else for the week. Marco, uh, nothing else other than what I just showed y'all. Uh, Air Max 90 uh, Runners Club. Um, been trying to work some trades on trade block. People ain't hearing me out. Uh, been actually actively shopping my cool gray 11s which uh, i know a lot of people are probably shocked by that uh Mm -hmm. but actively been shopping those for the uh wings uh ones from Mm -hmm. about five years ago uh just recently looked at those again i was like you know what i always wanted those and i never could get them Mm -hmm. so you know what here's my chance but nobody's Mm -hmm. hearing me out on the trade block there's only 13 traders that have them so uh you know Hadn't had any luck on those. Trade by listener people. Listen, looking out for y'all. Who, who, who else giving up a cool grade? Who, not giving up. That's wrong. Who else is trying to trade cool grade? My bad. That, that, was a, that was the wrong bad choice of words, you know. <laughs> well, my bad. <laughs> Blaze, you pick up anything else this week? I did. I got the playoff 12s. Shout out to uh, 214 Sneaks. Um, hooked me up with that. So I paid resale. Uh, I paid under the 50, AJ. So oh, I'm very go. happy about that. Right. I'm very happy about that. Technically, we include shipping and all that. Uh, yeah. So playoff 12s, I had to have them. Tough. Ran on a Friday for real Nike. What the bleep are we doing? At 9 a.m., it mm. was ridiculous. You couldn't get on at first. It had an encounter notice on it. And then I'm pending for 30, 40 minutes. And then all of a sudden, I just end up getting an L. You prolonged me for this L. So I got, I got two birds for you. Okay, Ooh, and they're okay. called Peter and Parker in this motherfucker. Uh, fuck you <laughs> and fuck that. So I just go in. I was very upset. Yes, the Friday I was upset. Okay, and that's my uh, rant. All right. So in that note, I did get them. So I, I let me calm whew. down. Uh, my time. Let me not go crazy. So playoff twelves I got on top of those um, Air Max nineties that I talked about. So very, Sorry. very. There it is. Very, huh. Breathe. Let me take my Ooh, drink. Woo side, Ooh. my brother. Woo side. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. so, uh, I, I did pick up a few things this week. Uh, I'm going to start off with these these uh, Nike hippies. Uh, there you go. Was that zero one, I guess it is. I like with those. The, with the green, with the, the dark like green those. up top. And it's, you know, the recycled material. These things is like comfortable, right? And so it's, it's a story behind it. We're, we're going we're gonna to get into it here in a second. So I picked these up. And 
Blaze, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a big fan of Duke. I do, I do love my Blue Devils. Yeah, but shame. I, but you know, I missed out on my playoff twelve. Wow. So therefore, uh, uh, I got the UNC sixes with you know Mark that late shipment that. coming through. Yeah, that late shipment came through again. It, what we say, it smells so good. What we say, they Ooh. smell so good, oh, man. So yeah, I, I picked up these. I, I I looked down and I said I couldn't pass it up because yeah. them them playoff twelves they passed me up. So I said, I'm not I'm not gonna lose twice. Okay, shout out, <laughs> shout out to the late shipment, you know. So, so I was able to, I was able to pick those up. So I'm, I'm still rocking with my blue devils. They need, I, you know what, Marco? Can you want to change the color to like that blue devil blue? Oh, here, can we do that? Blue no, blue, te- blue, technically, you probably could die those if you wanted to. But you, the, where you Don't would run it. into issues would be the the outsole, where it's baby blue down there because you can't really paint the outsole. Right. And you would run into issues on the tongue because you got that North Carolina like uh pattern yeah, just, on the tongue. Just, just cut the tongue out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> you are fool. Don't out. mess up. Don't don't touch perfection there, Black Ranger. Don't touch perfection. <sighs> That's your problem. You're trying to touch perfection. Leave it uh, be. I'm a, I'm gonna change the laces to like uh that dude blue laces. I'm gonna Ooh. just I'm gonna make, <laughs> I'm gonna make some people it. upset for real. You out here sinning, Earl. <laughs> Uh, all right, so hey, we gonna uh, I kind of know name this segment in my head, you know, you know, I'm gonna call it this. This we gotta go into some kick talk, you know, you know, kick city. We got kick talk, we got kick topics. So we gotta jump into some kick talk. So the first, the first discussion in the kick talk today is, is you know what's coming up uh, next. What is coming up this this week? I should say it'd be St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I don't know some of y'all, y'all may know I'm a I'm a Jameson fan. So, you know, I'm part Irish is some part of my blood, I feel like. So I celebrate St. Patrick's Day. You know, I take off work and everything. I hope my job don't hear that part why I took oh off my. for the day. But yeah, oh I celebrate my. St. Patrick's Day. We're, we're, you know, have a good time. So that was the, that was the story behind the green hippies I got. I feel like you got to get a fresh pair of green sneakers or you got to pull out some kind of green sneakers for St. Patrick's Day. I like to pull out some comfortable ones because I'm going to be doing a lot of drinking early in the morning and, you know, kind of last all day. I try to be done by eight. You know, I do got to go to work the next day after that. So, uh, and, uh, just want to say that y'all got any like green kicks that y'all like to pull out, or the, is I'm the only one that shops on shop for kicks on St. Patrick's Day. Margo. Um, I mean, I I I try to wear green on St. Patrick's Day. I I don't think I celebrate the holiday as much as you do there, AJ. <laughs> but uh, uh. If I'm going to pull something out, it's probably going to be my Gatorade 6s. I don't really wear them a whole lot, so I'm probably mm-hmm. going to pull those out the vault, give them some burn. Um, mm-hmm. What what day is St. Patrick's Day? Is it Thursday? Thursday. Thursday? Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Yeah. okay. So Thursday, 17th, that means I'm off. So, yeah. So long as it's not snowing, since we've gotten snow mm-hmm. every single Thursday, it seems like since forever. Right. Um. <laughs> So long as it's not snowing, I'll probably pull out my Gatorade sixes for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, all right, boys. What, what about you? I'm just trying to think on the top of my head. I do have a couple of green uh, sneakers. For first of all, green green is for the money, and so I'm always trying to catch mm-hmm. that. So yeah. I've got no problem. I've got no problem getting some green kicks. Um, I have some green Air Force ones that I like to wear. Um, they're green. They're green and yellow. I may put that on the uh, Kick City deal on the Thursday. First of all, th- that's a big. That's a big day on Thursday because it's the first day of uh, March Madness. So it's crazy. Oh, right. Yeah, when you think about it, that's the first yeah. day this week. And so, uh, yeah, you you gonna be extra extra <laughs> enlightened with that. So you may you may drink past eight. Damn, I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> so I'm not to put in some PTO time for Friday. I'm there you go. There you go. But uh, <laughs> just thinking, just thinking off the top of my head, I got some, I got some Air Force ones. I've got the uh, black and green retro ones. What's the two, the two point oh's? I got okay. those at a. I've got those like a couple, like yeah, a couple months after the release. And so I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. But yeah, I've definitely got a couple of green pairs in the deck. So. I don't mind wearing it St. Patrick's Day. So um, I went to I went to K State. Didn't graduate from there, but I went there. I and so Fake Patty's Day is always on my mind. So I got no problem celebrating uh, St. Pat's Day. So shout out, shout out to all the Irish people. Man, yeah. you know, shout out. I appreciate y'all. You know, y'all y'all make it y'all make it look easy. Mm-hmm. I'll be hurting the next day. So I don't know. You know, 
most of y'all surviving and make it. Not, I mean, not saying just Irish people, you know, a lot of people in general that they got a good immune system to it, I guess I should say. Is the immune system the right word to use for that? I don't know. To, when when it comes when it comes to drinking heavily, yeah, is that the right word to use? Is that I would say I would say more <laughs> prayer than immune system. Immune system, okay. You know, <laughs> y'all 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 college educated folks may know you know better words to use than I do sometimes. <laughs> I'll be trying to say big words off the top of my head, like I'm, like I'm Ti or something. So I'll be sometimes I'll be messing that up. So, oh, oh boy. <laughs> all right. So the right, next thing I want to talk about uh this new golf craze, golf sneaker craze. Let me say that. I feel like if Jordan retro some and put uh, some cleats on them or some golf cleats, baseball cleats, like some he all he doing is taking his regular retro and putting the, this little golf cleats on. I don't, I don't know no too many Negroes out here that like to get their golf on, but all of a sudden uh, my page is full of golf shoes. So I'm getting a little confused right now. Is it something I'm missing with this golf craze? Because I, I don't understand why golf sneakers are going double the price. Like you're not you're not casually wearing golf sneakers, and you're not if you don't if you don't have like what's that a nine iron a wedge, um, you know them golf terms. I don't play golf because that's what you know a driver. If you ain't got some of them at your house, why are you buying these golf sneakers? So I'm can somebody help me understand this golf craze, Mark Gold Blaze? Somebody help me out. Uh. Like you said, I don't play golf either, so I don't understand it. Uh, the only thing that I can think is because they are dropping a lot of golf sneakers in like OG colorways. Uh -huh. So, I mean, uh -huh. maybe, maybe that's making people think, you know what? Uh, maybe I can soul swap them or something and make them into mm -hmm. a regular sneaker. I don't know. But, but then the, the crazy thing is the resale on these joints is like right. crazy. Like, uh, taxi, uh, taxi. Uh, golf Lowe's, sneakers Lowe's. Came, yeah taxi the Lowe's. Lowe's came out Lowe's. the other day I think they yeah. were reselling for like what four hundred dollars or something right. like that four twenty five I tried just so that I could try and trade them put them on the block to be quite <laughs> honest because I was like oh lord if somebody paying that much for them that means that these these uh hype beasts will definitely take these as bait here here you go you can have these give me what I need and y'all can right. have these golf these golf shoes because you're not walking around with cleats on the bottom yeah. of your feet you're just not I'm gonna not. do it. That's and most people, so. like you said, ain't out here playing golf. So it's like, oh, right. what are we doing here? We're back here on the par nines. I don't know what that, don't know what that means. I just saw it on TV the other day. I don't know. I'm, I'm, par nine. I, <laughs> <laughs> this guy here. This guy here trying to get some knowledge with that. Uh, uh yeah. I well, I'm not shocked that they're coming out with golf with Jordan um, retro golf sneakers or shoes, whatever you want to call them. I guess we can call them shoes because they're golf. They're definitely golf shoes. I mean, like Jordan is a big golf guy uh, to begin get with, and so right. you get that you get that fad and just bring it out with Marco said. Like they're coming out like retros. Like mm -hmm. it, it ain't just like random Jordans. Like they're like retros, and so um, I think I, I, I think because of. Jordan, I think because they're just retro Jordans and golf being, I guess golf may be blowing up. Um, but yeah, they're they're tripling and quadrupling. They're like dunks. Like if you don't get them, yeah, retail, well, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay, and it, you're, you're absolutely right. That's like that's like paying expensive prices for us, like football cleats. Like why would you, you even if you know, because we play football and you know and stuff like that. But it's like why would you pay expensive prices for some shoes that you know you're gonna tear up? Like you're exactly. out in the grass. You're out in the grass constantly in these cleats. And so, I mean, people want to look fresh. So what can you take from that? But yeah, it has it has blew up. So it's wild. I feel, like it, I feel like it just blew up like overnight. Like it just feel like one day you're like, hey, Jordan, like I'm dropping a retro golf cleat. And then the next day people was like, cool. I want it. $400 here. I wanted that bad. Like, Negro, you don't golf. Don't know one thing about golf. I right. Mean, don't, know, don't know a golf player outside of Tiger Woods. Phil Nicholson. Right. Nicholson, Nicholson. See, I don't even know if I'm saying his name. Right. Like, oh my gosh! Yeah, but like, <laughs> just like you know, I know a, I know a doctor that collects uh, sneakers, and so he don't wear them. You know, he sets them up as like pitch, like like pictures on, pictures on the wall, and you know stuff like that. And so you can also do that with golf cleats too. Like you know, like you don't mm -hmm. you don't necessarily yeah. have to wear them if you got them. Like we we wear our sneakers, so I guess that's like trying to get that into your mind. Like people actually buy and just put them up as like. Collector's Art. items. Exactly. Yeah. 
Exactly. So you gotta you gotta understand that that lingo with that too. It doesn't make sense to us, but mm. that's just how people get down. That's a, that's a different tax bracket. That's the problem. I don't. I ain't that, in that, that tax too. bracket. I ain't in that. I ain't in that for collecting. I'm in there for for rocking. I need to be seen in my. There you go. There you Speaking go. of collecting, how many DS sneakers do y'all currently have right now? I have, I think, four, currently. Mm, that's good. Uh, I, I, maybe five. Mm-hmm. I think five. I can think of the top of my head that I know I ain't wore. Yeah. No more than six, and that's the only reason why. Like I doubled up. Like I just got those fire red fours um, mm-hmm. on the restock, and so I have that. I have one on ice, and uh, but yeah. That's now just with, a, with, the, with the with the I got a question with the double up. I know you you rocking one. You know as soon as it come out the box. Now do you wait a while before you wear the other pair, or do you just never wear the other pair? I personally don't ever wear the other pair. Um, if I do, I resell it. Like if there's like, like if it jumps up to $500. So let's say these cool grays jump up to cool gray 11s. I got two pair. Let's say they jump up to five, $600. Uh, I can get them on stock X. I'm going to get rid of them. Gotcha. You know? So gotcha. that's just kind of, you just wait for me. I just wait because yeah, I don't like them. I don't, I don't like my sneakers just sitting there and I haven't worn them. So, right. um, and so, but like my, the only pairs I would keep is my uh two legend blue elevens, the the OG ones. An OG, okay. And so but but that's my favorite sneaker. So got you, got you. They're, they're nice. I keep yeah, hold on to them. If you ever <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, I was gonna say if you ever, ever want to get rid of them, just holler at me. I got about four pairs of stocks I can put on to, to fit them. There you, you go. Know. There you go. <laughs> so I, what I was gonna say is I'm itching to wear my uh Kobe Pro Tro fives those hall of fame joints Mm -hmm. i've had them for a minute now from that trade that i made like last what was that the end of the last summer and Mm -hmm. i never did wear them before it got nasty outside now i'm Mm -hmm. like waiting for for the weather to clear up where we ain't got none of this nasty gungus out here on the ground or any of that stuff so you know, I'm I'm waiting patiently to wear those sneakers, and I'm I'm probably gonna wear that half Kobe, half Jordan, uh, t-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that me and Blaze both have, and yes. uh, that's probably what I'm gonna rock with them, especially since you got purple and uh, you go. red in red. that in that sneaker. So. I I feel like I know this Randall. I feel like as we talk about shoes, how you were saying for the perfect day, I feel like. Some people talk about like their old school cars. Like they ain't, they ain't just ain't pulling them out on any day. Like it gotta be, it gotta be the perfect weather. It gotta be 70, no breeze. It gotta be the sun gotta be bright and shine. Like it gotta be a perfect day to pull something out. Like, so I I, I understand that. Cause that's how some of my DS shoes is like, I need a perfect day, I need a perfect outfit. Like I, I I gotta find a perfect wall. I gotta take a picture and I gotta let the people see it. So it gotta be perfect. So <laughs> You want to yes. wear them for a little bit of time, not just uh, a couple hours, and then come uh, right. back in and put them in the box. <laughs> right. I, know, I want to get a good wear out of them that day. <laughs> so, man, it's that they pull that old school out. You pull your old school Chevy out. You want to got to got to go to the car wash, make sure the rims are shining, make the, the candy paint look good. That's, that's how I feel about putting on certain pair of shoes. So, mm-hmm. so as as we as we transitioning from that, um, so I know it's March. We all, a lot of us are big college fans. I'm, I'm pretty sure Blaze got to put some parlays out there about to start popping off like crazy. Yes. I'm about to, I know I'm doing like 10 brackets. I'm trying to win a million, you know, so I can sit back somewhere. Uh, I'm, I want the perfect bracket. I wish I had that, what's that Almanac book or whatever from back in the future. I might say that word wrong too. Yeah, you know, that had all the <laughs> scores in it. I wish I had one of them because I sure be trying to use that right about now. But uh, so, I just want to know. So let's just go straight to like to a final four. So yeah, I know it's only three months into the to the to the new new year with all the sneakers and stuff that's coming out. But let's see, can y'all tell me y'all top four sneakers that probably y'all picked up already, or your top four sneakers that you uh it's not top four sneakers of the of the year so far. So if we going off of what I actually got for myself my my yeah. final four for myself and the final four of what i think is hyped are two completely different things okay so, so let's go for let's do the final four that you got for yourself let's do that okay 
Okay. Yeah. So if we go in Final Four for myself, I got to include everything that I've gotten so far this year. So right. that's going to be Court Purple 13s, UNC 6s, uh, these uh, Runners Club Air Max uh, 90s. And then I guess I get to pick a wild card that I haven't picked up which for me would be Big Bangs. Blaze, talk to me. Um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you two that I don't have and two that I do have. So, um, and I'll give it to you four. So number four for me is the Rick and Morty Pumas. Mm. Um, I like those mm. a lot. Um, Rick and Morty Pumas. I would say the third one is the UNC sixes that you two have, but I don't. Um, and it you're, is, you're, a, you're a USC fan. I don't understand that. I am. I, I, well, you know, mm-hmm. hey, you know, you're shooting miss, mm-hmm. you know. You come up show. You come up, but you keep you keep moving. Then you're going to talk crazy. Um, I would say number two, I do have these, is the Big Bangs. Um, the LeBrons. I got those, the nines. And uh, it's got to be the Retro One Brotherhoods. I mean, what are we doing here? What are we doing here with me? And so those are those those are still those are still no, I, have, I I just got those. I need to send Marco the other video of me getting them on StockX. So um, that's on the way too. But yeah, what are we doing? I got to have, those got to be number one. How dare I, you know? Serious and get on me quickly. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Then make sure I get that on just in case you heard me. <laughs> the Brotherhood Ones, man. So Rick and Morty's, UNC's, Big Bangs, and the Brotherhood Ones. Definitely in my final uh-huh. four in the first quarter. Uh, uh, my final four, uh, three of them I do have, one of them I don't have, and I start at four, and that'll be the gold and, like, red or burgundy dunks, dunk lows. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm still upset how, how, uh, <laughs> it was nine o'clock and th- they was already sold out at, at uh, 8.59 a.m. I don't know how that happened. Still upset about that, and but the re the you know the, the resale level is not too high. It's 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 like right under the hundred. So I'm like I'm I'm thinking about it. So uh-huh. I'm, I'm I'm strongly thinking about it. Uh, third, I'm gonna go with the the cardinal cardinal threes. I feel uh, that that's that was that was that was a good pickup for me. Uh, UNC sixes, of course, and I can't argue with you. Number one, you gotta go had to beat them brotherhoods. Yeah, that. That leather on there is so nice. That that color is just right. I know that y'all is that color, but that color look good. Nah, yeah, hey, that, yeah. <laughs> when when that shoe in my hand, I say this, this this shoe look good here. I don't. They 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 did good. That that that, that, that premium leather on there, which I was I was highly you know highly happy about. So right. that that be my top four. Yeah, and then you you got my mind thinking. Um, that definitely be a sneaker to double up on. Um, yeah. For the price that it's at right now, even a resale, I mean, with that leather, it's it, it'll probably get up there in about the four or five hundred range, at least by the end of the summer or the beginning right. of the summer. What am I saying? So I, th- I think certain shoes going. when they come out, like people don't really be like going too crazy over because the season ain't right for them. Like right. they got to be the right season for certain shoes. And I feel that I feel like that and like them, uh, like the. Them sixes too, I feel like it's just not the right season for them. But yeah, yeah. as soon as you see it get warm out, and you see them again, you'll be like, "Damn, I, I, I may have messed up, but I don't have them." So, all right. So I, I'm, I'm wondering, so I'm wondering how many people actually got them sixes because I feel like low key a lot of people got them, but I'm not really mm-hmm. sure. Because I, I, I feel that way too. Because with the sneakers app, like shipping out all theirs on the on that early release on that and shop then the shock drop is kind of like, and then I mean, granted, some stores like mine got them late, or other stores got them on time, but they didn't get, they didn't get a lot of them in the stores. I know, I know, just speaking on where I'm at, we didn't get a lot in the stores, so I don't know how many stores be like, because technically, I don't know, could be wrong. Don't quote me on this line, anybody. Uh, like you get like thirty releases, roughly on certain shoes and like, but when it comes to like Jordan ones or something like that, something that's real exclusive, you may get 15, 20 if you got it, if you're lucky. So, and so I don't, that's why I'm like, we didn't get a lot. So, but that's just speaking on where I'm at. If you, if you know where I'm at, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, I can't help you on that one. (laughs) What do y'all think was the final four most hype sneakers then so far this quarter? 
I mean, Ooh. I I would probably say them Thunder Red Force or Red Thunder Force. Just yeah, like a lot them, of yeah. a lot of people a lot of people did though. They was very mm. hyped. I I didn't think much of them either because I remember I said they was ashy looking, but uh, right. I those think, Rick and Morty's, Rick, those Rick, Rick and, and Morty's, Morty's. The, the the resale price on them, yeah, for some Pumas, for yeah, some ain't they yeah. like three twenty? Isn't it like yeah, yeah. yeah. they up crazy. there? That hype is real on those. Uh, so so yeah. there's two. Uh, would would you say UNC UNC Sixers? UNC Sixers. I think so. I'm a yeah. I mean yeah, you can't. I think yeah, definitely. I would say the play. I would say the playoff twelves. Playoff twelves. What I'm about what, a, what about Rebellionaires? That's that's no, that no. technically dropped today. No, technically no. dropped today, but yeah. actually dropped next Friday too. Yeah, they ain't gonna be crazy. Not dropping on sneakers app, so the hype is is even yeah. realer because they're not dropping on sneakers app here in the U.S. Yeah, I, I feel. Yeah, I feel like yeah, once it don't drop on sneakers, I feel like the hype of it goes up that much more. Like. Yeah, because it feel like it's gonna be that much harder to get now for for people. It's just that much harder to get now, and I ain't because I'm a regular person, so that makes it even worse. Because <laughs> I'm a regular person, that that ain't uh, the realest thing on the uh, set tonight. Uh, <laughs> they got them valued at almost like two thousand dollars on some resale sites. Yeah, that's crazy. It's very crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, I ain't live. I ain't living that way to be doing it like that. So, all right. So, you know, that, that's going to close out kick talk, you know. So now this is where I step back and uh, I let the, the voice of Marco Freeman take us, into, take us on a little trip. So I'm going to let you go ahead and get into these gifts for us, Marco. All right. So uh, sneakers releasing this week are dropping between 313 and 319, uh, mainly 318 and 319, because that's what the majority of the sneakers are. Well, that's what all the sneakers are on the list for this week. Um, first sneaker on the list is going to be the uh, Rebellionaire Air Jordan 1. These joints are dropping on 318. They actually already um, dropped on um, some sites uh, today, technically. Uh, today yeah. is the 12th. Um, mm -hmm. So they did drop on like Undefeated and... A few other like neighborhood boutiques, uh, neighborhood accounts is what they were called. Uh, but to give you a quick description of these, these are going to be $170, uh, more widely released on Friday the 18th. Uh, these guys feature a special edition box. So on the box, you have like this graffiti style type of uh, lettering. Um, you got the band X on the top of the box. Uh, and then instead of the traditional uh, red and black box, you have a gray and black uh, box on the Jordan 1 box there. You don't have Nike on the top because you have the band X on the top. Uh, you got special paper on the inside because you have uh, the um, traditional, if you remember the Jordan 1 commercial where they banned the, put the band like little mm -hmm. uh, censorship over the shoes. They have that on the paper and it's kind of like, um, Kind of looks like the Spider Verse. You know how they did like that glitch type of look. They did that on the, the on the tissue paper for these. Um, but to give you a description of the sneaker itself, it's basically a shadow one colorway. But instead of it being like just straight leather, it's like a distressed leather with an overlay of like this glossy uh, type of look to it. And the glossy look is actually like these graffiti letters going throughout the whole sneaker. It says they can't stop you from wearing them. So very dope concept. Oh, I was wondering what it said. <laughs> yeah, it My says bad. they can't stop you from wearing them. <laughs> yeah. So in the toe box, of course, you got the gray, the swoosh is gray. It, like I said, it's a shadow colorway. The uh, collar is gray. The back heel is gray. Uh, you got a black wings logo, uh, black laces, uh, and then, like I said, the they can't stop you from wearing them is throughout the whole sneaker is much bigger on the black parts of the shoe uh, and much smaller on the gray parts of it. Uh, but like I said, it says they can't stop you from wearing them throughout the entire sneaker. Um, but to me, these these are fire. Um, mm. I need them. 
I got to have them. Uh, no questions about it. I, I got to have these. Uh, are, we paying, are we paying over the hundred? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Let, let's put it this way. I ain't paying that two grand that some people are valuing these at. I'm not doing that, but I will definitely try to make a trade for these to try and get them at a, at a reasonable price. Uh, if, if somebody is willing to take cool grays for them, I will there, definitely there you trade go. them cool grays. Uh, just because I don't feel like I'm actually going to wear the cool grays. I like them, but I don't feel like I'm actually going to wear them. I feel like they're going to sit in my closet more often than they get worn. So, yeah, these I, I need these Rebellion Airs. I don't think I'm going to get them for retail because it's going to be too hard to get them for retail. So you are going to pay a little bit of resale. But, I mean, if, if resale is like 220 I'd be willing to do that. I do 220. I do 220. I I don't think 220 is going to be an actual price point. I think you're probably mm-hmm. going to see these somewhere around that mm, 275 price point. I think they're going to be mm-hmm. around there. Mm-hmm. Plus plus your stock X fees. I think you're going to be closer yeah. to 300 with your stock X fees. Yeah, stock X fees or goat fees or whoever you buy them from, you're going to pay some fees. So you're probably mm-hmm. going to be closer to 300. Um so but yeah, I got to have them. Blaze, what's your thoughts? I gotta have them too. Um, everything about this, everything about this sneaker is just lovely. I mean, like it tells a story from the box to the the sneakers actually, and so just everything about it. It it talks about history of Jordan and the sneaker, and so yeah, it's a gotta have. I mean, like, but the you know you to me to me in my head, I've only got a week or two to make that decision because. You know, they're selling, you know, they're selling on Golden Stock X and my size for 400 And so uh, it's only going to grow. And so this reminds me of the the Grinches, the Kobe Grinches. And so if yeah. I don't get them, if you don't get them, you know, in a week or two, they're going to skyrocket up to seven to nine hundred dollars. And ain't no way I'm coming to, coming to get it, get those after that. And so this sneaker is dope. Like I said, it tells a story, um, tells a story overall. So I got to have them, too. Let me answer that question too, but you know, I've only got a week or two to make that business decision with that. So, what about you, Black Black Ranger? Talk to me. I, I, I gotta have them. I give them over the hundred. Like at three hundred, probably my cutoff right now. It's gotta, it gotta be like, <laughs> it, it gotta be like, and that's <clears throat> with the fees and shipping and all that included. Uh-huh. Like, if we say three hundred one, I'd be like, ah, come on, now. you're kind of mug. You're pushing me now. I just. I'm, I'm 300, so I, I, I gotta have them. I want them. I'm hoping for a late release or something, a late drop, something. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, but I, I ain't hearing no rumors of that at, at, at the moment. So, but gotta have them. Want them? I pay. I pay a little over, very little over the hundred, like one on one. But uh, no, no, that's about it. That's it. That's all they gonna get out of me. So uh, okay. gotta have them. <laughs> So certified, got to have them here from the crew. Um, And to give you all what the people said on this, this was the first week that we were actually able to give you four different choices on the poll. So we were actually able to separate, got to have them, flip them, trash or sleeper cheap, all as separate entities. It wasn't two things being on one side. But anyway, uh, to give you all what the people said, 68% of people said got to have them. 16% of people said flip them. 16% 16% of people said trash and zero people said sleep for cheap because you know you ain't gonna be able to sleep for these. But exactly. yeah, I'm surprised by the people that said that it was trash. Mm. These are fire. Um, it's, you know, it's some people in the world that just don't like Jordan One. I think yeah. them, them, that's, them, that's them people. I don't understand how you don't like Jordan Ones, but I feel like whoever said those was trash, they, they just don't like Jordan One. Like, there's no way. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, so next sneaker up on the list is going to be uh, Dunk High. It is a clock collaboration. This is the Nike Flux. Uh, these are going to be $150. Um, these are a little bit different. Um, so it's basically like a liquid metal type of look, like a completely silver chromed out um, upper on these. Um, and it looks like the swoosh doesn't even actually pop out like traditionally it does on a, a dunk. It's, it's more of a uh, just a stitched swoosh going around there, it looks like. Um, but, I mean, it's it's a 
it's pretty basic outside of that. It's like all liquid metal um, silver. And then you have white laces, white sock liner, uh, white midsole, and white outsole. Um, for me, uh, at $150, nothing I got to have. Um, but if I was able to grab them, they'd probably be a flip for me. Um, so, yeah, flipper for me. Blaze, what's your thoughts? They're definitely a flipper for me too, Marco. Um, they're going, they're going for about four or five hundred dollars on um, uh, other sites, and so yeah, flipper for me. Nothing exciting about these at all. I mean, like they're silver. I mean, like I, I can take it that they pop a little bit, but other than that, no, nothing, nothing that I gotta have. I would flip these and then try to get these rebellionaires, and so I guess we get back into that. I guess we getting back into that. So you know, there you go, there you go with that. So. Flip for me. So, what about you, AJ? Yeah, um, these are straight flip. You know, young dog flip, little flip, the flipper. Hey. Who, whoever want to get, whoever want to be flipping, we flipping these. You know, flipping like a quarter, like they look like a silver yeah. dollar. I should tell that mm. a big old silver dollar. We flipping this. So, um, and y'all know I ain't no big duck high fan in the first place. So that, that really ain't another reason they're gonna have to get flipped. So they going for four five hundred. Yeah, they getting they getting little flips out quickly so <clears throat> let's all come together and get a pair and then we can diverse it you know break down the money afterwards if they get they, they sell it for that high <laughs> look at look at blaze all right look, we ain't gonna do that my bad because look, you're looking at me like i'm talking crazy well i mean you know you, you're talking like you're talking like oceans 13 over here i'm like <laughs> if, we did, if we get them we divide out the <laughs> yeah, you know, I, got, I got a plan over here you gotta play exactly <laughs> oh man so a uh, certified flip them for us over here. Uh, to give you all what the people said, 30% uh, of people said got to have them. 30% of people said flip them. 13% of people said trash. And 26% of people said sleep for cheap. So it's mm, kind of spread know. out. Yeah, yeah kind of spread out on those. Uh, so next sneaker on the list is coming from Puma. These are dropping on 318 as well. Um, these guys are the Puma MB01s, the only Puma sneaker that anybody cares about right about now. Um, <laughs> these are going to be the Queen City colorway. These are going to be $125. They're basically the Charlotte Hornets colorway. Um, all purple upper with the uh, teal accents around like the Puma logo right here in the toe. Uh, you have hit the Lamello ball, like one tattoo logo here in the tongue, mm -hmm. one of one on the tongue. Um, and I think that's really it. I mean, you got a little bit of uh, writing right here. I don't remember exactly what that says on the toe box there, but um, you know, it looks like all the rest of the, um, mellow ball ones i like it i like this colorway it pops um not sure if it's something that i gotta go get immediately though i feel like the only ones that were just like man i gotta have them right now was the rick and morty's i feel like this is something that you can kind of sleep for cheap on so for me it's gonna be a sleep for cheap especially you know just so many things that are coming out i, I don't think there's anything that i gotta go get immediately so those would be a sleep for cheap for me. Blaze, what's your thoughts? I second that notion on the sleep for cheap. Um, I do. I like the colorway. I like the. I like how it pops. Uh, that purple with that teal is pretty dope. Um, but you know they're Pumas. Um, they're they're just basically NBA colorways, and so um, I don't know how the hype is going to be with that. We're, we're going to find out what uh, these mellows are talking about with these right here, how how big the hype is. And so um, if these sit, we know these are just you know Pumas, but if they sell out, if they sell out at a good rate, then we'll we'll know that the hype behind um, Mellow Balls Pumas is is pretty good. But sleep for cheap. Um, if I if it had school colors, the hoop in you would, but. I don't I don't see a know about rocking these um around just for casual purposes. You can rock the Rick Rick and Morty's cause they have a story behind them. But these, the Queen City, nah, I'm good. Sleep for cheap. AJ, what what are you thinking? 
you know, I, I got, you know, shout out to BC3, you know, Dodge City Community College, you know, the Conquistadors uh -oh. where, I, uh -oh. where I attended at, where I played my ball at. Yeah, shout out go. to my, to, you know, to my DC3 family, you know, they give me the DC3 vibe. You know, we was that, we was that purple. We was that, that we didn't have the teal in it, but we was that purple color right there. You know, I, I'm feeling like I'm back in college when I look at it. I, I wish I was still hooping in college, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I want to say I gotta have them, but like Marcos said, it's, it's, it's so much other stuff that I, that I really, I really, really need. Not, 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 not that I want. I need it. It's, it's a need out here. It's a difference. So I'm a, I'm a. I know they ain't gonna make it to the Puma outlet, but if they do, you know, I, I'll make sure I let everybody know. So, uh, but definitely gonna be a sleep for cheap for me. But yeah, they, I, that, that purple and that teal though, it definitely pops. That I feel like it's a good, it's that good Kool Aid purple. You know, it's that that, that good purple right there. I know Kool-Aid purple, everybody don't know, but you know, that's, that's what I'm going with. Okay. okay. So, I, I mean, I think another reason that I'm like, I'm these would be a sleeper cheat for me is because I got those uh, LeBron 9 uh, Hornets um, oh, colorway yeah. for those. Yeah. Like the OG LeBron 9s. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. you got those. You don't really need another shoe that's yeah. the exact same color, especially when it comes to something like this. Like, don't get me wrong, I do have plenty of black and red sneakers, so I know I'm being a hypocrite here, but yeah. purple they different. is just, they diff they different I was going to say, purple yeah, and teal is just not something that you got to have multiple shoes. Right. Of, so It's um, just Puma. It's the brand. Right. That you're like, ah, yeah. I need to pause and consider. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Puma. Exactly. So, uh, that's a certified Tempur-Pedic for us, because we all said sleep for cheap. All right. Um, and to give y'all what the people said, 30% uh, of people said gotta have them. 22% of people said flip them. 22% of people said trash. And 26% of people said sleep for cheap. So, yeah, it can't um, get more even than that. Yeah, I was gonna say that was a yeah. pretty even split there. On all right. Those. Um, so next sneaker up on the list is coming from New Balance. Uh, mm -hmm. These are going to be the Kawhi Twos. Uh, these are going to be the New Money colorway. They're going to be $160. They're dropping on $319. Um, what I will say is they look better than the Kawhi ones because those were trash. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes. These aren't much better, but they are better than those. So that's a step in the right direction for New Balance mm -hmm. um, as far as basketball sneaker. Um but they do have a lot of detail on this sneaker. Um, so it looks like you got the Declaration of Independence on on like the upper there because I see Declaration mm -hmm. on the back mm -hmm. of it there. Okay. Uh, you got like this gold plated uh, New Balance uh, like plastic um, part on the heel of the shoe. Um, you got a clear outsole, it looks like. Um, I mean, it looks like it's a decent basketball sneaker. It's just not a, a lifestyle sneaker. Um, and for that matter, um, I'm, I mean, if, you, if you're a basketball player, these would definitely be a great sleep for cheap. If you're buying these for lifestyle, they're trash. That's, that's what it is. There, so, there you go. Just get it out there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If, if you're buying these for lifestyle, they're trash. So uh, Blaze, what's your thoughts? I will be buying them for lifestyle and they will be trash. And uh, this is get to it right then and there. I mean, like, once again, pause and consider because they're new balances. So let's let's just stop it right there. And then they're these Kawhi 2's new money. And so I don't know this new money. I would think it would be in green, but I guess green is old money. And so we talking about like crypto new money. What are we talking about here? We talking about metaverse new money. Okay. What are you doing with this? You know what I'm saying? I, but they just yeah, they're tra they're they're trashing me. They're definitely better than the Kawhi ones. And so uh, if you're a Kawhi fan, I don't mind you getting those. And so and if you hoop, this this be a great summer shoe. I mean, they're white. Um, they're white with the details. I like the I like the little gold plates in the back, so can't go wrong with that. But I'm wearing them for lifestyle, and so I'm asking myself, would I walk around and coach in these in the summer? No. Mm. Trash. So, Black Ranger, talk to us. I mean, you know, I like the Kawhi ones. I like the low Kawhi ones. I don't like the high. I like the lows. 
Low ones are all right, you know. They gave me the cool little vibe. The high ones gave me like that Black Panthers vibe. And they had the little the black with the gold on the little tips on the on the, on the lace the lace area, you know. I felt, but you know, I mean, that's just me. Y'all know me. Y'all know how I do. But yeah, I, I, these trash. I, I said all that to say that, <laughs> you know, those, those trash. I, I be want to support some people. You know, he want to support. You know, I like Kawhi. I like the, the silent assassin that himself is, but uh. I guess New Balance must be cutting a good check for him, cause uh, they, but they ain't making a good shoot for him right now. So maybe it's gonna be a while. I don't know how much longer Kawhi got in the league, but uh, I hope they change here real soon. So uh, this new money, old money, somebody need to give them some more money to change out this brand. Um, so, <laughs> but these these are gonna be trash. They ain't definitely about trash, but these these, right. these are yeah, but they trash though. <laughs> So what you, the people say? <laughs> so you send them to the recycle bin? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you know, I, I give them, yeah. <laughs> let, let them try again. Let them see what else they can do with this, with this recycled material they're going to have. They're going to get a lot of it. Okay. okay. So uh, that's a certified dumpster juice for us because we all said throw those boys in the trash. Uh, but to give you all what the people said, not a soul said got to have them. <laughs> um, <laughs> 23% of people said flip them. Uh, 59% of people said trash and 18% of people said sleep for cheap. I think I gave them the benefit of the doubt and gave them that sleep for cheap because I was looking at it from a hooping standpoint when I voted. Mm -hmm. So, but like I said, for lifestyle, they're trash. So, uh, moving on last sneaker on the list, uh, is going to be a familiar silhouette here, um, because it is a Jordan retro um it is basically uh it's dropping on 319 um it will be the jordan air jordan i put air jordan 12 jesus i didn't correct myself there nobody no. caught that no uh, it's, it's air jordan 13 del sol uh not the 12 it is 13 it's a little um, typo it's all right yeah it, you happen, know, you know. it happens to the best of us people make mistakes all right that's what happens when you're rushing doing stuff so uh Anyway, these are going to be dropping for two hundred dollars, so they're up from the normal one hundred and ninety dollars that you would see from uh, Jordan Thirteen Retro. Um, I don't think that they deserve the upper price tag there, but you know it oh. is what it is. They they basically look like uh, the Mellow Thirteens that got recalled a few years back, uh, yeah. but instead of having the black, you have white. Basically, every place that was black on that sneaker is white. Um, so. Think of Cherry 13s or Hyper Royal 13s or mm. uh, Starfish 13s from last year, Lucky Green 13s, right. and replace whatever color was on that with this uh, gold yellow type color um, in like that little suede part there. Of course, the upper is that, um, that padded material on the upper there uh, on the side panels on both sides. Uh, and that's leather. You got leather in the toe box, leather tongue, uh, red jump man on the tongue. Uh, the outsole is just like the mellow 13s as well. Cause you got the red, uh, Panther eye on the bottom of the outsole, mm -hmm. uh, mainly black. And I don't remember what color the pods are. Does anybody remember what color the pods are? Are they yellow on the pods? Um, I want to say they are, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but don't let me lie to you. I feel like they're yellow on the pods, but, uh, yeah, um, of course, you got the classic uh, Jordan 13 holographic, which is killer on uh, any Jordan 13. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, you got the Jordan little uh, tag at the bottom of, like, or the front of the toe box, bottom of the toe box, whatever end you want to call that. Uh, and then, of course, it has that hidden 13 Roman numeral behind that uh, Jordan tag there. Mm -hmm. um, I like these. I'm not gonna lie, I do like them, but I just don't feel like it's nothing I gotta have. So, if these like restock later on down the road, I would probably grab them, but I'm definitely not grabbing them on release date. It's just not something that I gotta have. So, I guess I won't even really call it a sleep for cheap because they, they won't ever be cheap. So, I guess a, 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 they're a sleeper from me because I'm, I'm not gonna grab them on the initial release, but I would grab them on a restock later on down the road. So, I guess sleeper kind of, I don't, I don't know. Flipper. I, I don't know what these are. 
they're, they're nothing I got to have, nothing that I'm really looking that if, even if I get them, I'm probably going to keep them. So they'd probably be flippers. Let's go with flippers. Blaze, what's your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> all in that all, all about way. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> These are uh these are sleepers for me. Sleep for cheap. Um these like yeah, I I like them too. I like them a lot. I wish the pods were white. I mean like if you're going to dirty your sneakers, you're going to dirty your sneakers. The black on it just kind of like why Jordan Brand? Why are we doing that? You know, like why, why come we we good with the he got game ones being white, but we not good with the rest of them having the white right. pods and so um, these just, yeah, these are nothing that I gotta have. I mean, like, I just copped a yellow pair of, uh, Air Maxes, so. Um, yeah, no point. <laughs> great, great summer sneaker, though. Uh, 13s to have, great in that, in that colorway, and so, if these came in a restock, uh, maybe crop, but with things coming down the line, I mean, like, you know, these are something that you can see <laughs> just like the mellow ones going back into the Nike outlet, so getting, mm-hmm. them, getting them on a um, cheap market there. So at the end of the day, roundabout way, they're sleep for cheap for me when it comes to these 13s. Like them, but yeah. What about you, AJ? Just like the mellow ones, I, I fumbled. And just like these, I'm going to sleep for cheap on them. So, um, yeah, um, I, I remember the mellow ones at the Nike outlet. I was like, ah, they cool. I don't know if I really want them. Then, like, a couple months went by, and I was like, damn, I may have should have got them. They would have been cool, like you said, cool shooters to have. Cause it's just that colorway, like it's not gonna see it. Then I'm, I'm real biased. I felt like it was like a Pittsburgh Steeler color, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not supporting Pittsburgh. I couldn't do it. Uh-oh. Nothing against any Steeler fans. Let me say that first of all. But you know, <laughs> you know, I'm rolling with, rolling with the hometown team. So that, I felt like it was. I think it had to be around football time when they, when they got, when they came back to Night Yale. Yeah, that's, that's what my mind was thinking that. But these are gonna be some definitely good sleep for cheaps. Like Blaze said, good summertime shoe. It'd be, be at the, at the cookout. You know, you know, I'm gonna have my high, my, not too high socks on with them, but you know, I have my, my white socks on. I can't wear my white socks with them. Uh, you know, black socks. I just I feel like they're just hot in the summertime, so they're gonna have to be the white socks with this. But these gonna be a good, good old sleep for cheap for me. What the people say, Marco? Uh, so I I said earlier that I think the pods are yellow. Uh, the pods are actually white on the bottom of the shoe. So oh. all the traction and everything is actually white uh, where the traction pods are at. And then you got like red in like that little uh, panther paw type of imprint down there. And then, of course, you got the carbon fiber that's black uh, and then the, the red panther eye down there as well. Uh, but to give you out what the people said about these, oh. um, 39% of people said got to have them. 30% of people said flip them, 9% of people said trash, and 22% of people said sleep for cheap. So, mm. you know, it seems like more people are going to grab those than not. So they, they, mm. they probably won't be anything that you can just run in the store and grab. But um, I feel like it's just one of them shoes, like, people get to be like, I got some Jordans. Like, I can like see yeah, yeah, like, I got me a pair of Jordans. It's like, yeah, you got a pair of it. It's just like, uh, they cool. Yeah. Well, uh, it's a good it, starter. It, it, good starter. It's a good Jordan. starter kit. There we go. There we go. Yeah. It it do seem like it's one of those throwaway colorways that Jordan comes out with because he always has like a throw, and especially in this this particular silhouette. I just discussed lucky greens that really nobody right. ran out and got the starfish that nobody really ran out and got, and I think these are gonna fall into that same category. Actually, uh, the white and uh the white and purple ones like this were, were yeah, like that too because yeah. the white and purple that ones too. the laker colorway i was yeah. able to grab on nike.com way after the release so you know i don't know i think it's a, like a blaze it's a start it's a starter sneaker it's a hey i see you got you got you some 13 my man i see they clean i see hey they Star. like my man said yeah they yeah they, they 20s like now they really 10s but they shine uh-huh. you know what i mean they I you keep good. them clean though. You keep them clean though. Yeah, I see you shining though. <laughs> right. Oh man. 
But yeah, that's going to close out gifts. Uh, I'm going to throw it back over to AJ to close out the show. Appreciate that, Marco Freeman. That you do well as you always do with the gifts. So, you know, it's time to close it out. We greatly appreciate y'all for listening, for tuning in, for watching. Have, however, you, however you leave, you know, give us some love. We appreciate it. So, this is the part of the show that everybody give their shout outs to where can you find them at? You know, so, uh, Marco, I'll let you. No, nah, you just got done doing a lot of talking. Blaze, you know, go ahead and let them know where they can find you at. They can find me on my personal page at Lucky Lefty 31 um, They can see all my kids and my lovely family, and that's about it. I don't post a lot on there. Um, but um, when it comes to Kick City, you can follow us on Twitter at City underscore Kick. And so, once again, follow us on Twitter, um, City underscore Kick. And so that's where you can find us on Twitter. And so, yeah, lovely. Got some things on the way. Got some things, things planned from 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 everybody. Mar- Marco is doing his thing with the, with the leadership role, and so can't knock that really. So, shout out to that. And so, um, I'm I'm done. I'm done speaking. So let's pass it over to Marco. Where can they find Kick City at? Uh, you can find me personally at MB the Remix on IG. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at DAMB2 Experience. Uh, on Facebook, Mark Voice, and then of course you can find Kick City on IG at Kick underscore City nine one three. You can find us on Facebook at the Kick City Podcast. Um, we are working on creating a Discord group. Uh, so that Discord group, we're gonna try and get y'all information about like restocks and different stuff that we find out that's going on in the city. So that like if you're looking for something, you can kind of go there and figure out what what is you know in stores or what's on websites different stuff like that now i will tell y'all we're not insiders so we're just giving y'all information that we found so (laughs) that's what we're gonna do with that um this this discord is probably gonna be relatively low cost but i mean we're trying to figure that out still it's something that we're working on so that's that's coming down the pipeline but uh yeah working on that aj you know what I'm going to say. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Don't forget that friend to tell another friend. And make sure you like, you, you follow, you tell us what you like, you tell us what you don't like. We we reply back to, to the comments. You know, I'll let you know how it really feels. If you feel like we're doing bad at some, let us know. If you feel like we're doing great at some, let us know. So definitely follow us on the IG at kick underscore city at 913. Make sure you follow Twitter at city underscore kick. You can follow my personal page at uh, AJJ underscore almighty. There's a lot of underscores out here. I just noticed that when I just said all that. So, you know, just let you know where you, where you can find me personally and where you can find the crew at. Uh, appreciate y'all listening. Uh, y'all have a wonderful week and we out.